Hi guys, today on Diva Skin Cook, I have got something that will please your vegan friends and your non-vegan friends. I am talking about these vegan buffalo cauliflower wings, okay? They are so good and addictive. Y'all ready? Let's go. All right, so we're gonna start with a big old bowl of cauliflower. I have chopped them up. Now you want to remove as much of the stem as possible. You don't wanna to remove too much because then they're gonna break apart into like little tiny pieces, but go ahead and try to get as close as you can because when you have them in these little bite-sized pieces like this, it looks, you know, gives it kind of like a chicken, a chicken look to it, you know, when we get it all breaded up, okay? Okay, so let's move on to our breadcrumbs. I'm gonna add some croutons. I love using seasoned croutons as the breading on this. You can use panko if you want to, but I'm gonna add my croutons into this fruit processor. We're gonna process it until it's like fine crumbs. And you guys, I would put the vegan brands that I use because I'm doing this vegan. You can do it non-vegan, but I will put the brands that I use on my website, okay? Now it is time for the boring part. I hate this part. We have flour, vegan eggs, and croutons. What we're gonna do first, all right, we're gonna get our little cauliflower, we're gonna dip it first in the flour. Make sure you shake off the excess. We do not need all that extra flour. We just need like a nice dusting, a nice coating of flour to help the egg and stuff kind of stick to it. Next, we're gonna dip it into our vegan eggs, toss it around. You want to coat it until you can no longer see that flour on there, just like this. And now go ahead and shake off all of that excess egg. We don't want any of the excess. And then we're gonna go right to our croutons. I'm kind of flipping it around and kind of mashing it so that it really, really coats and really sticks to the cauliflower okay now this looks good just like this it looks like little chicken nuggets doesn't it they're so cute look at them and as you dip them go ahead and just place them on a baking tray and now once you have them all dipped in on your little baking tray we're gonna place these into the oven we're gonna bake these at about 425 for about 12 to 15 minutes just until that cauliflower is tender and it's nice and crisp Meanwhile, we're gonna make our buffalo sauce. I'm using some buffalo sauce because I'm cheating a little bit. If you wanna do homemade buffalo sauce, I have a recipe on my website. But yeah, I'm kinda of cheating and doing a buffalo sauce. I'm gonna add in some butter. And last but not least, we're gonna add in a little bit of garlic powder. All right, so go ahead and stir this on up. That is our little cheat version of buffalo sauce. And it's gonna be really, really good with that butter in there. And I'm using um, Earth Balance butter, okay? All right, so our sauce is ready and our cauliflower wings are ready. What we're gonna do one at a time, or two at a time, <laughs> we're gonna dump these into that buffalo sauce mixture. Make sure you give it a shake. Let all that excess drip off. We don't want too much sauce on these, all right? Once you have them all dipped in that sauce, what we're gonna do is just let them sit on the pan. You see how they're kind of drying out a little bit? That is gonna give us a perfect crisp coating. So place them on the pan after you dip them and let them sit for about, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes just until the sauce begins to dry up a little bit. And honey, that is our cue to place these bad boys back into the oven, but we're going to broil for about four to five minutes to get them all nice and crisp like this. Look at that, yeah, that flavor is all baked in there. That buffalo flavor is all baked in. It's nice and crisp and crunchy. Yup, that's what I like, I like it. Okay, so now I'm gonna garnish it with some parsley just to make it look all pretty, cause that's what parsley does. Now you can serve these with ranch, blue cheese. I like to do ranch and then a little side of buffalo sauce just in case you want, you know, a little bit of sauce on there. And that is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my other videos later.